Hello, I'm Senator Mitch McConnell, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to share my thoughts with the Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana ESOP conference meeting in my hometown of Louisville. Kentucky has a strong tradition of employee-owned companies through the ESOP model. With over 100 private ESOP companies employing more than 24,000 employee owners, I've been fortunate to visit with many of these employees and see firsthand what these companies bring to the economic well-being of the Commonwealth. ESOP companies not only provide jobs and economic security for people in Kentucky's larger cities, they also serve as vital economic engines for many of our state's rural communities. They also offer excellent retirement benefits to their employee owners. Studies also show ESOP employees are more invested and productive in their work because as owners, they're directly impacted by the company's success. They empower employees to be a part of the American dream by making them owners, not just workers. Unfortunately, despite this success, the Obama administration has taken a hostile position against these companies over the past three years. The Department of Labor has proposed a rule which would make appraisers of ESOP stock fiduciaries to the ESOP trust. This proposal, if it became finalized, would reverse over 35 years of executive branch policy, even as the Obama administration has not sufficiently made the case that this change is necessary to protect participants in retirement plans. Finalizing the rule as it has currently been drafted may mean the va that valuation firms in the country would stop valuing ESOPs due to increased liability, making it very difficult for ESOP companies to comply with federal law and perhaps forcing some to close their doors. This is why I joined Senator Kelly Ayotte of New Hampshire in proposing a bill to prevent this rule from taking place. Senator Ayotte and I have also made this appeal directly to the Department of Labor by sending a letter to Secretary Perez on this matter. ESOPs embody the concept of free enterprise by affording their employees an ownership stake in the company. And I think that's a priority. We ought to keep this as a viable business model. Now, moving forward, please know that I'm committed to protecting ESOP employees and their companies and I'll continue to pressure the Department of Labor to abandon their job-killing proposal. I welcome the continued input of the ESOP community as we work to move America forward. You have my best wishes for a productive and enjoyable conference. The ESOP Association, the largest group in America representing the ESOP community, is grateful for the message that Senator McConnell has delivered to the attendees of the Tri-State ESOP Conference. The ESOP Association is a tax-exempt organization which under federal law can participate in our nation's process of electing people to federal office. The ESOP Association is aware that many Americans have a great disdain for the men and women serving in our Congress. I don't share that disdain, but I do have some disdain for those men and women in Congress who pat people on the back, tell them with a smile, I'm for you, I'm with you, and then we don't see anything that indicates that they are publicly, specifically helping advance our beliefs in employee ownership through ESOPs. We ask that the men and women that we call ESOP champions do something publicly on the record in support of ESOP creation and operation. Senator McConnell has been openly supporting ESOP with his actions and urging his colleagues to be supportive of ESOPs. And Senator McConnell is not a Janie or Johnny come lately to the ESOP cause. He has been far openly, publicly doing things in support of ESOPs for many years. And for this we're grateful. 
we're grateful that he is there helping advance ESOPs. We respect all views, but at the same time, we're adamant that the men and women that are standing up for ESOPs against the ESOP cynics, and there are still sadly those types in Washington, D.C., are men and women who are truly our ESOP champions, and we are grateful. Thank you, Senator McConnell.